Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you this full inspired makeup look using new products that I picked up in some past hauls. So I'm starting with my Mecca Cosmetica Lip to Luscious Night Treatment. Even though it's a night treatment, I find it's really hydrating and great at priming my lips before I start my makeup. I'm going in with this beautiful new Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'm going to take that all over my face. It smells amazing and gives a nice texture and a nice luminosity to the skin. But because I do need some more help in the pore filling area, I'm taking the Garnier Perfect Blur 5 Second Perfect Base Perfector. What a mouthful! <laughs> and I'm just going to go in and fill the pores before going in with my L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. And my shade is 11 Vanilla. So I've just sprayed my buffing brush with some Fix Plus. Just so that it um, dampens the brush a little bit. And makes this very mattifying, very full coverage foundation blend out a little bit easier. It's a great trick to use just to help the blending process. Oh, out of focus. There we go. <laughs> oh, there I am. <laughs> So I've decided that I needed just a little bit more coverage just in a couple of the problem spots. So I'm taking just a little bit more of the foundation and buffing that in. And then just to increase the coverage a little bit more, I'm taking some Pro Longwear Concealer and my shade is NC20. And then I'm taking that um, and pumping a little bit on the back of my hand and as you can see I'm applying that with a concealer brush and I realized that I pumped out a little bit too much so I just dot it all over the face <laughs> and after I've picked up my brush and wiped it clean I'm just going to use that brush again and buff everything in But just to eliminate cakiness, I'm taking a damp beauty sponge, mine's by the brand Chi Chi, and I will use that to blend in my Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline, which I'm using just as a light concealer to highlight my face and brighten my under eyes. So as you can see here, I take that damp sponge again, I'm using that to blend in the concealer, but I'm also taking it kind of over the face just because the dampness will help eliminate excess product and help eliminate cakiness and blend everything in. So I'm setting that all in with my new Laura Messier loose setting powder in translucent and I'm taking that still damp sponge and I'm going to use that to place the product underneath my eye, around my nose, on my chin and um, even on my forehead but I don't show that clip <laughs> apparently. And I'm going to brush away the excess with my MAC Studio Fix. So what that will do is that will help to not only set in the concealer, but it will help to control the oil. And then just sweeping away the excess with a tiny bit of that MAC fix, um, Studio Fix just will even everything out and brush away the excess. While still just giving a little bit of extra coverage and mattifying the liquid products. So I'm bronzing today with my Old Faithful Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. And I am taking a flatter brush to begin with just to start contouring. Um, I'm not going for a harsh definition here, but just um, some slight definition, a little bit of dimension to the face. I'm taking that under the cheekbones and the jawline and then taking the same product but with a stippling brush. And I just use the stippling brush just to add a little bit more product to the face and blend out the contour and warm up the face a little bit. So just keeping it pretty simple. You can skip the, the contour step altogether if you want and just bronze. But I just wanted to add a little bit more dimension but nothing too harsh. Blend that out. So I'm going in with a blush today and it's a good old NARS blush in the shade Madly. I did pick up a few new brushes, uh, blushes, sorry, but I wanted to go with something that I knew something familiar and it's my favourite blush at the moment. I am going in with a new highlighter, it's my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Highlighter. 
and it is just beautiful. I love this highlight. So I'm taking that on the high points of my face and then I'm just making sure everything's nice and blended. So I'm just going in with my powder brush. To prime my eyes today, I'm picking up my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and it's just the original one. I bought this um, in a tube uh, after trying a sample of it that I got with my um, palette, my, my naked palette. <laughs> and here I'm just taking the What's Up Highlighter which is a cream to powder highlight by Benefit and I'm highlighting my brow bone with that. I'll take that in the inner corner just to brighten everything up and then I'm also going to blend that in with my finger and to take that all over the lid just because I'm going in with some matte shadows but I still want a kind of luminosity and brightness to the eye. To settle that in I'm using uh, skimp from my beautiful new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I love this palette. I've been using it non-stop since I picked it up and using that skimp color just to set everything in and taking Zone from the palette as well as my crease transition lid shade. All I'm putting on my lid and my crease today is this Zone color so I'm applying it with a more precise blending brush. And then taking a fluffier blending brush to make sure that's blended all into the crease and diffusing that so there's no harsh lines. I'm going to take that same colour zone down under the lower lash line just with a bit of a precise blending brush and brent, blending that out with Stark from the palette, which I'm not doing in frame, but that's what I'm doing, blending out that zone colour with that more skin tone colour. And then just for some definition, I'm taking Punk on this flat liner brush and I'm just applying that to the lash line. But because I don't want anything too harsh, because it is a very simple, natural-esque eye look, I'm taking a clean pencil brush and just blending that in. So we have that definition, but not no crazy lines. I'm taking my new Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and my shade is taupe and I filled in my brows and applied roller lash to the eyes and then I'm using my Too Faced Perfect Nude Lip Liner which is an oldie but a goodie to line my lips but I am going to fill that in as a base colour for my brand new Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Chihuahua. This is such a highly talked about colour from the Too Faced Melted line and I absolutely love the colour, love the formula. And then just taking that Laura Mercier in a very, very light veil, just kind of dusting off what was left in the cap and taking a big fluffy blending brush and blending everything in and just setting it all because being oily skinned, I like to make sure that everything's set to control that oil. And that is everything for the look. I hope you enjoyed it. Just something quick and easy, but also to showcase the new products that I picked up in my hauls. Thank you for watching guys, I really appreciate it and don't forget to like and subscribe.